up through the center of the head. Just squatting back a little bit, making sure your knees don't go in front of your toes. Inhaling up, exhaling down. And after you do the earth energy, then you'll come and balance with the heavens energy. Connect to the shiny stars, the spinning galaxies, the expanding sense of space that's in the universe. And then that just flows down through you into the earth, out and up the sides in a reverse fountain. Inhale up the sides, exhale down, and then just stand up and you're done. So let's all do it together. We'll start with the earth energy. Breathing in our belly, relaxing. Okay, inhale, exhale, connect, inhale up through your body, Exhale, outside of your body, into the earth, back up through the center of you, fountaining out. Just squatting down. Exhale. Now we'll come up and cross, come back down, inhale, and exhale. Clearing, charging, but mostly balancing your body. Focusing outside. Okay, last one. Notice how my knees do not go in front of my toes. And I squat back just a little bit as a part of this movement. Exercise number 10 is riding the waves. This is a very pleasant thing to do. It's a very wonderful experience. It balances your breath, your mental focus, your body movement and also your lymph movement and that is the principle that we practice on this one is balancing your breath with your lymph movement the main purpose is to balance the vertical flow of energy in your body which is the energy coming up and the energy going down which could be another way of saying balancing the lymph in the body since the lymph is also a big part of what chi really is when people talk about chi it's very easy to do, very pleasant. You inhale and you raise your arms really gently. You exhale and you lower your arms. You raise your arms from hips to shoulders, lower from shoulders to hips. Make sure you tilt your pelvis and breathe into your belly. And be relaxed. After 12 to 24 repetitions, you'll feel wonderful. It's also very good for insomnia. Okay, everybody. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Nice soft arms, elbows a little bent. When your arms come up, the energy comes up. When the arms go down, the energy goes down.
two more. Smooth. The fifth flow is centering. And here's where we bring all our chi back into the center of our body and kind of meditate it on a little bit. So it's an energy that goes inward. It's like the mountain lake is still calm, calming and peaceful. It's very nourishing, very nurturing. Exercise number 11 is centering the chi. In centering the chi, the main purpose is to bring our energy back to our center and store it for later use. And that's also the qigong principle is to bring the chi back to the center. Learning how to do that is very important. Otherwise, we've built and worked with all this chi and we might just have too much in our system that we need more than we need right now. So we can store it for later, put it in our piggy bank, and our organs can use it, and we can use it for activities, but we won't waste it. So we're gonna bring it back to the center, which is the Dantian, the field of elixir, by doing this. We bring our arms up to the sides and back down into the center. So it's just like we're, it's like our hands are magnets and all the extra chi is little bits of iron filings. This is my metaphor. And our magnetic hands grab all these extra iron filings that aren't doing anything right now down to the center where this super magnet, this electromagnet, then takes them off of our regular magnet, of our hand magnets. So that's one metaphor that some people use, some people like. And so you drop your hands, you inhale, exhale. Imagining chi go to the Dantian. Okay, join me. And last time. Number 12, the last exercise in the five flow set is nurturing the chi. You'll do this for about six to 12 breaths or longer if you like. So the main principle is after all the movement and activity of the qigong you've done, you allow the lessons to sink into your body. Give it time, give your body time and your nervous system time to kind of learn and assimilate. And the main qigong principle is to balance activity with quiescence. So many times in our lives we have too much activity compared to how much time we're just relaxing and being quiet. And so this teaches that and helps you do some of that. It's the only exercise in the set where your eyes are closed. And most of the time in the other exercises you just have soft eyes with a general focus. But here you have gently closed eyes. And it's really easy, you just put your hands on your dantian, on your center. And I like to put the opposite hand than the one I did in number six, charging the center, closer to the body, just so I get something different. Just simply close your eyes, put your focus on, your, on the center of your body and breathe easily in and out the nose. Relax as much as you can. Quiet the mind.
just breathe naturally. And then when you're done, you slowly open your eyes, let go with your hands, stand up a little bit, relax into your body, and feel good knowing the good changes that you came from doing your Qigong practice. Then slowly move into the rest of your day. Five Flows Qigong set has many layers. In this DVD, I elucidated some of the principles and some of the postures that you're working on, some of the ideas. Once you know those, you can actually learn more and more and get even more out of the doing these exercises. Another thing you want to remember is that you can do just one exercise or two exercises. You don't have to do the whole set to gain benefits. But I do recommend that you do the whole set as often as possible so you get the benefit of doing it and you memorize all 12 of the exercises in order. Remember also the three Qigong principles I talked about at the beginning of the DVD. And those are practice every day, practice within your limits, and refine as you go. And lastly, remember to have fun with Qigong. <laughs>